My name is Katie Bauman. I'm an assistant professor at Caltech studying computational imaging and physics-based inverse problems. So computational imaging is the synergistic design of hardware and software that allows us to take images of things that are not possible to see using traditional kinds of sensors. In everyday life, computational imaging shows up uh, in lots of different places. For instance, an MRI scanner that allows you to go in and it collects information that doesn't itself look like a picture, but by using algorithms that understand how that system works, it can interpret what those measurements mean and decode them into a picture. Even just on your regular cell phone camera, computational imaging is in basically everything that we're doing. So if you've ever clicked, for instance, that HDR button on your, on your cell phone that stands for high dynamic range, and what it's doing is it's merging different information from different images and using that to make a nicer looking uh, picture that mimics more of what we kind of see with our eye. So I was uh, very lucky to be part of the international team that took the very first picture of the black hole in the center of the galaxy M87. My primary role on the project was in developing the algorithms, the imaging algorithms that allowed us to take the noisy and sparse data that we collect from the telescopes and try to recover a picture from it. But taking an image of a black hole is an incredibly difficult task, and that's because they're incredibly far away from us and very small. So the black holes that we thought we had the best chance of seeing, they appear about the same size as a grain of sand, but if that grain of sand is in New York and I'm viewing it from where I am in California, we calculated that we have to build a telescope the size of the entire Earth in order to take that picture. And so obviously we couldn't build a telescope the size of the Earth, but instead what we did is we placed telescopes around the world and put specialized equipment in those telescopes that allowed us to collect the light at each one of those little locations, and then we could bring that information together and use our, uh, our computers to act like the lens to make the picture. This idea that we used is called very long baseline interferometry, and it's been used for decades, but it had never been used on the scale of an entire globe before um, and at the wavelengths that we needed to see the black hole. And so since we were only working with a small amount of data, it was still a big task of trying to recover that image from that sparse amount of data. And so that's kind of where the imaging algorithms came in and where I um, played more of a role, is in developing the ideas that allowed us to take that sparse information from only collecting light at a very few number of, of points around the globe and trying to fill in all the missing information to recover back what the black hole looks like. One thing that I think you know, computational imaging allows you to do is image the invisible. You know, go out and, 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 and figure out ways to image things that you didn't think were possible to see. Think about something that you think you can't recover and then go out meet the people meet people in different domains try to merge different information together bringing together ideas from optics from machine learning from signal processing and then domain knowledge and, and combining it all together to do something that you thought was impossible at first glance and so I think that that idea um, yeah keeps driving me and pushing in this direction